Have you ever wondered how common skin rashes and urticaria can turn into a medical mystery? These conditions, prevalent and often dismissed as trivial, are actually complex medical phenomena. They demand our attention, not just for their discomfort, but because they can sometimes point to deeper, hidden health issues. Skin rashes and urticaria, seemingly simple, are in fact a labyrinth of medical intrigue waiting to be explored and understood. Stay tuned as we delve into an intriguing medical case that will shed new light on these common conditions. Imagine, it's a quiet night shift at the hospital when a patient walks in. The atmosphere is calm, almost serene, punctuated only by the soft hum of the machinery and the occasional murmur of conversation. In walks a patient, a seemingly ordinary individual who, at first glance, presents with symptoms that appear quite commonplace. The patient complains of skin rashes, an ailment we've all encountered at some point in our lives. Accompanying this are signs of urticaria, those familiar, irritating hives that are often dismissed as a mere allergic reaction. The patient, too, seems unperturbed, attributing these symptoms to a recent change in laundry detergent. It's easy to be lulled into a sense of routine, to chalk this up as another case of dermatitis, treatable with an antihistamine and some topical cream. But, as the saying goes, appearances can be deceiving. Little did we know, this case was anything but ordinary. As we began to investigate, the patient's case became increasingly complex. We were facing a medical puzzle that was far from ordinary. The skin rashes and urticaria, those raised itchy hives, were just the visible tip of the iceberg. Our initial findings were a mix of expected and unexpected. Blood tests showed elevated levels of histamine, a common occurrence in urticaria. However, the patient's liver enzymes were also slightly elevated, not what we would typically see in a case of simple skin rashes. This was our first twist in the tale. The patient's medical history was unremarkable, making the liver enzyme anomaly even more baffling. We delved deeper, conducting further tests and investigations. The process of medical investigation is not unlike being a detective, where every symptom, every test result is a potential clue. In our case, the clues were leading us down multiple paths. The challenges were many. We had to rule out possible causes of the liver enzyme elevation, from infections to medications to autoimmune diseases. At the same time, we were trying to understand the origin of the urticaria. Was it an allergic reaction, or was it a symptom of something more systemic? We were asking more questions than we were answering, yet this is the nature of medicine. It is not always linear, not always clear-cut. It involves navigating through uncertainty, exploring all possible avenues, and sometimes waiting for the body to reveal its secrets. We engaged in multiple consultations, discussions, and debates. We went through medical literature, seeking insights from similar cases. We performed more tests, more investigations, each one a step towards unraveling the mystery. The patient's case was a reminder of the complexity of the human body, of the intricate balance that keeps us healthy, and how easily that balance can be disrupted. It was a testament to the power of medicine, to its ability to decipher the body's language, to make sense of its signals. But with every question, we were getting closer to the answer. The puzzle pieces were slowly falling into place. The picture was becoming clearer. The mystery of the patient's skin rashes and urticaria was about to be solved. After exhaustive tests and consultations, we finally had a diagnosis. The patient, who had presented with unexplained skin rashes and urticaria, was found to have a rare condition known as chronic spontaneous urticaria, or CSU for short. This is a type of chronic hives that can appear or worsen without a known cause. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is this condition? Well, CSU is a skin disorder characterized by the sudden appearance of wheels, angioedema, or both. Wheels are itchy, red swellings on the skin that can vary in size and shape, while angioedema refers to swelling beneath the skin surface, often around the eyes and lips. This diagnosis was a revelation, but it also posed new questions. How did this patient who had no prior history of skin conditions develop CSU? Why did it manifest so suddenly and severely? The truth is, the exact cause of CSU remains a mystery. It can be triggered by various factors including stress, infections, or even certain foods and medications, but often, no specific cause can be identified. For the patient, this diagnosis was a double-edged sword. On one hand, it provided an explanation for the distressing symptoms that had brought them to the hospital in the middle of the night. But on the other hand, it also meant that they were facing a long-term condition with unpredictable flares and remissions. 
Living with CSU can be challenging. It can significantly impact the quality of life, causing physical discomfort, sleep disturbances, and emotional distress. It's not just about managing the symptoms, but also about coping with the uncertainty of not knowing when the next flare might occur. But despite these challenges, a diagnosis of CSU is not a death sentence. With appropriate treatment and management, most people with this condition can lead normal, fulfilling lives. It's about learning to live with the condition, rather than letting it dictate your life. And so, while our patient's journey had taken a significant turn, it was far from over. The diagnosis, while providing answers, also brought forth new challenges. But with knowledge comes power, and with power, the ability to face these challenges head-on. Armed with our diagnosis, we began the patient's treatment. As we navigated the intricacies of this condition, we understood that each case is unique and requires a tailored approach. For skin rashes and urticaria, the treatment options are as diverse as the symptoms themselves. Firstly, we focused on symptom relief. Antihistamines became our first line of defense, working diligently to relieve itching, swelling, and other allergic reactions. For more severe cases, corticosteroids were brought into the mix, helping to reduce inflammation and provide some much-needed comfort to the patient. But treating the symptoms was only half the battle. We then turned our attention to the underlying triggers. In our patient's case, we discovered that a certain food allergy was the root cause of the problem. Hence, a significant part of the recovery process was to identify and eliminate these triggers to prevent future flare-ups. Of course, this is where the role of the medical team became pivotal. Our dietitians worked tirelessly to create a dietary plan that excluded the allergenic foods, while our nurses monitored the patient's progress and provided essential care and support. Our psychologists, too, played an important part, helping the patient to cope with the emotional stress that often accompanies chronic conditions like these. We also cannot discount the importance of patient education in the recovery process. We ensured that our patient understood their condition, the need for medication, and the importance of avoiding triggers. This active involvement of the patient in their treatment plan was crucial, as it empowered them to take control of their health and recovery. This journey was not without its challenges, but with each passing day, we saw improvements. It was a slow process, but we witnessed the transformation as the rashes faded and the urticaria became less frequent. It was a testament to the effectiveness of our treatment plan and the resilience of our patient. Through diligence and teamwork, we were able to guide the patient towards recovery. Every medical case like this one provides invaluable lessons. It's a mantra every medical professional, whether in training or in practice, should hold dear. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned from this particular case of skin rashes and urticaria. First and foremost, this case underscores the importance of maintaining a broad differential. The world of medicine is vast and complex, and a patient's symptoms can often be attributed to more than one condition. As we saw in this instance, the skin rashes and urticaria presented a multitude of possible diagnoses. It was only through careful examination, thorough investigation, and critical thinking that we were able to arrive at the correct diagnosis. Secondly, this case reminds us of the significance of patient history. The patient's past medical history, lifestyle, and even seemingly unrelated symptoms can provide crucial clues to the diagnosis. In this case, a comprehensive history was instrumental in guiding the diagnostic process and ultimately pinpointing the cause of the patient's symptoms. Thirdly, we're reminded of the pivotal role of teamwork in healthcare. From the nurses who first noticed the symptoms to the specialists who were called in to confirm the diagnosis, each team member played a crucial role. Medicine is a collective effort, and every member of the healthcare team contributes to the patient's journey towards recovery. Moreover, this case highlights the importance of continuous learning in medicine. Medicine is a dynamic field, constantly evolving and advancing. Staying abreast of the latest research findings, guidelines, and treatment modalities is key to providing the best possible care to our patients. In this case, the knowledge of the latest therapeutic options for urticaria proved invaluable in managing the patient's condition. Lastly, this case teaches us empathy. It's easy to lose sight of the person behind the symptoms, especially when faced with a challenging diagnosis. Yet, as healthcare providers, it's our duty to treat each patient with compassion, understanding their fears and concerns, and guiding them through their health journey. In medicine, every patient teaches us something new. And it's these lessons, 
gleaned from each patient encounter that truly enrich our practice and make us better healthcare providers. Now, let's delve deeper into understanding skin rashes and urticaria. Imagine your skin as a fortress, a formidable barrier that safeguards your body from harmful invaders. But even the most robust fortresses can fall, and when they do, they exhibit signs of distress. In the case of your skin, these signs often come in the form of rashes or urticaria, also known as hives. Skin rashes are a broad term, encompassing any noticeable change in the skin's texture or color. They can appear as red patches, bumps, blisters, or even welts, and may be accompanied by itching, burning, or swelling. The causes are just as varied, ranging from allergic reactions and insect bites to infections or chronic illnesses like eczema or psoriasis. Urticaria, on the other hand, is a specific type of rash characterized by raised, itchy welts that can appear anywhere on the body. It's often triggered by an allergic reaction but can also be caused by stress, temperature changes, or even certain medications. Contrary to popular belief, urticaria isn't contagious, but it can be uncomfortable and, in severe cases, even life-threatening. Now let's talk about the treatment. For skin rashes, the approach largely depends on the underlying cause. Antihistamines or corticosteroids can be used to alleviate itching and inflammation, while antibiotics or antifungal medications are employed for infections. In cases of chronic skin conditions, ongoing treatment and lifestyle modifications might be required. Urticaria, being an allergic reaction, is usually treated with antihistamines to reduce itching and swelling. But if it's severe or chronic, stronger medications like corticosteroids or immunosuppressants might be necessary. Additionally, identifying and avoiding triggers is a crucial part of managing urticaria. But here's the thing. While treatments can manage symptoms, they're not always a cure. That's why it's essential to understand your body, listen to its signals, and seek medical advice when something feels off. And remember, not all rashes are a cause for alarm, but persistent or severe symptoms should never be ignored. So there you have it. A brief overview of skin rashes and urticaria, from their causes and symptoms to treatments and preventative measures. They may be common conditions, but their impact on our lives can be significant. Therefore, it's only by arming ourselves with knowledge that we can ensure the health and resilience of our skin. Remember, knowledge is the first step towards better health. This case was a journey filled with lessons and discoveries. Our patient's bout with skin rashes and urticaria was a vivid reminder of the complexities of human health. It was not just a simple case of rashes, but a puzzle that had to be pieced together with careful observation and knowledge. The night call that started it all, the unmasking of the mystery, the diagnosis, the treatment and recovery, each step was an education in itself. We learned about the intricacies of skin rashes and urticaria, the importance of accurate diagnosis, and the power of effective treatment. Remember, every patient tells a story, and in this story, we discovered that even the most common symptoms can sometimes hide a deeper, more complex health issue. So keep learning, keep questioning, and keep exploring. Join us again as we continue to explore the fascinating world of medicine.